What's up, Caterpie crew? I'm Chase, full-time Amazon and eBay seller. You probably know that if you're here, but I appreciate it. And we're going to show you how we got all of these GameCube games from the tubs to on this table ready to sell. And in this video, we're also going to go over a bunch of sold listings that we've had from the game barn, strategies, processes, all the back-end stuff for a full-time Amazon and eBay reselling business that employs myself, Skylar, supports our families, along with some other part-timers. So let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. So I've started listing the highest end games on eBay as far as the used ones go. So I'm kind of starting there, getting these listed this morning. Um, they're in really nice condition. I kind of targeted the ones with nice boxes, fully complete, that kind of thing. So they can fetch a premium. So those are going to eBay. Um, I set aside the Amazon titles and I'll show you those. So those are more popular games. I still got to double check that they'll go on Amazon, but they're just the ones that I assume will. And then I actually sold three of the sealed games to one of my local, well, not local, but one of my friends who was a connection through Instagram and he buys a ton of sealed games. So texted him pictures immediately and he wanted three of them. We made a deal for 700 bucks. Those three were the, um, one of them was the Dreamcast game. The other one was... Oh yeah, he bought the NES game, the Mafat Conspiracy, got like a hundred bucks for that. And so here's my Amazon bin under my desk. These are the ones that I think could go to Amazon, meaning their rank might be good enough. Um, like certainly Pokemon Conquest, the Mega Man, the GameCube, this uh, Tag Force. And then there's some of the sealed ones that like DS and the popular Dreamcast titles. Those could be Amazon but we'll double check that. So for those that don't know, I like to say on Amazon, if the rank of the video game is 50,000 or less, that's probably something that will sell on Amazon if it's priced correctly. Um, sometimes I'll go up to 70,000, but I really like to stick to 50,000. That's a pretty safe number. Um, number one means it's the fastest selling item in, the, in that category. Each category has different numbers. Books, a rank of 500,000 or less might would be good because there's so many books. But video games, it's 50,000 because there's not nearly that many video games. It used to be like 10, 20, 30,000, but as we've uh, as the category has grown and new generations have been added, there's been more video games added to the category. So 50,000 or less still implies that you can probably sell it within a couple weeks or less. If it's top 10,000, you're probably selling it day 1 if you are priced accordingly. So a little bit of thoughts on that. So I remember the three sealed games that sold. Uh, Dynamite Cop on Dreamcast sold for $250. Mafat Conspiracy, however you say that, on NES sold for $100. And then the George Foreman Boxing actually sold for $350. And that was definitely more than I expected. Um, but really happy to get $700. And that was no fees. Uh, straight through PayPal. And then this, I just listed it this morning. And it sold for $330. Um, was going to get it for 150 He ended up giving me 50 bucks off because I had to overpay on the consoles after I lost the coin flip. So I got 100 bucks into this, and it sold immediately for 330 Really happy about that one. All right, so kind of a surprising sale here. Dragon Warrior 4, the manual map and the other piece. Um, I got them for 20 bucks, and they just sold for 100 So that's a massive win. Gotta love it. So we got three more eBay sales from... The Game Barn. Art of Fighting is complete. This one sold for $300 plus shipping. I think we probably had either $125 or $150 into it. Powerpuff Girls sold for $131 plus shipping. It is sealed. It's in really nice condition. Probably could have held out for $150, but I think we bought it for right around $70. And then the Game Boy SP box. Got a good deal on this one for like $10. Bucks. And then added the manuals to it and was able to get 60 plus shipping. And then we also sold a bunch of stuff on Whatnot yesterday. So this is where we sold it in here. We actually already got it all shipped off, but probably about another 2,000 in sales from the game barn there. And then have all this stuff still to get to. And we'll probably do a lot of this stuff in future Whatnots. And then also on eBay. So check out our eBay store and 15% off. If you message us through Instagram or Facebook, if you're interested in anything. Just another day with a lot of noises. 
<laughs> of cleaning. Um, Alyssa and I cleaned, tested a bunch of the GameCube games. She actually helped me out to test them. And then we enlisted the help of a friend of Skylar and I who was on spring break and in town. He came over and tested stacks of hundreds of GameCube games. <laughs> and it is so loud in here. But sometimes you gotta get extra help. Skylar's brother is here today. Helping out. Okay, we got Thane. So, we got a full house. Yeah, we got a full house. Now that all the games are cleaned, we got Carson with the Trinitron testing them all. He's got a big stack. <laughs> He's tested this many so far, so. How long do you think it'll take, Carson? Days. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Oh, the last GameCube game <laughs> is about to be cleaned. Yes. Sent through the disc cleaner. That's got to be like, these lights are going nuts. That's got to be like 300. Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe, maybe 250. I don't know. It was at least half of them. And there was 560 GameCube games. Carson is just testing away. I'm running for long. He's going to be, you're going to be done. We're going to have them all done, ready to go. It went from five days to three days to the end of the day. Wow. Wow. You're just good. The pace is just remarkable. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, we're down to the final, what, 10? We're near, let's see, let's see. One for this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heck yeah. And how many five. haven't worked out of all of them so far? Uh, Probably about four or five. Four or five? So they're out of that stack, so the total. in total across all the games, maybe... That 12? Something like that, yeah. Are these ones related or no? Unrelated. Those are empty cases, so add those to the pile of misfits. Okay. So about 20. So 20 that's all together out of 560. Like 60. Hopefully we still have at least 550. Yeah, and because there might have been more like 570 with some of the discs that yep. we did not count. Also, I just realized you guys are seeing a sneak peek. <laughs> we have other stuff. Maybe we'll be able to uh, fill up these empty cases. <laughs> Perhaps. The final game, save the best for last. My, my eyes can't thank me enough now. <laughs> yeah, how are your eyes with all the static? They're doing good. <laughs> not, to, not to mention the amount of YouTube I've watched too. <laughs> See how it goes. Yeah, didn't watch any one of our videos. Yeah, come on, bro. Ah, that's on me. <laughs> We're gonna dock his pay, right? You're fired. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll watch it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a solid Jesus one hour left. You gotta watch the original Christ. barn videos. So you know yes. The this barn has rows of sealed retro games. No, 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 not, not that one. one. Not watch the one. first one. That one. Ah, uh, they turn their barn into a game store. Yep. Wow, look at those pecs. All right. Looks like it's working. We'll we'll get to the point and then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These. What are, what are we doing? We're going to get a full count of how many games we have because we've got to know how many we can sell. Yes. So we got those. We got These. The ones in here. <sighs> Lots of boxes. So, Carson, you're going to count? I'm sorry. Once again. I like counting. <laughs> I'm a finance major. So. <laughs> <laughs> really good counter. <laughs> <laughs> Professional counter. <laughs> All right, what's the total? 559. Sweet. So Total we predicted 560. <laughs> we'll One, take it. That's, that's pretty good. That's prediction. pretty good. <laughs> okay, so update. There's nine. Nine additional. Plus. So brings so, it up to what? 568. 568. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. We'll see picker, right? Sorry. Yes. All right. So we got all the games spread out here now. And these are all good to go. The auction is coming up um, on Wednesday. And some people might be wondering, you know, the strategies behind why we're selling these the way that we are. Um, honestly, whatnot for us, it's made sense from the beginning for our business because we get a lot of volume, we get a lot of stuff. And when we buy out an entire section like this, it would take a lot of time to individually process every single game on eBay, Amazon, or elsewhere. So, Whatnot was kind of a great answer for that to be able to sell everything immediately and it's also just a fun way to engage and hang out with you guys our streams if you've been to any of them comment down below at the experience you've had because they've been a lot of fun uh stuff averages market rate some goes a little less some goes a little above most goes right at that market rate and we take pride in making sure the buyers know exactly what they're getting and then fulfilling that order 
uh, successfully with great packaging quickly next day. <laughs> People have said we've overpackaged. We that's get a good that, problem and I love to that. have. That I, is a compliment. We'll take that. I that's think, our goal. I think my favorite comment is, "Yeah, I got a hundred dollar game with twenty thousand dollars of bubble wrap." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so we're, we're gonna make sure it arrives safe and. Uh, uh, we've only had one dissatisfied buyer because the Sega Genesis they got wasn't working for them. And I literally just sent a replacement and made them happy. So obviously, if you have, have any issues, you can reach out to us on Instagram or otherwise. And uh, it's just a great way to get rid of it all immediately. And this, a lot of this stuff uh, took a lot of cleaning. and You probably cleaned <laughs> it 400 was, discs? Yeah, it was probably about 400. It was probably about two-thirds of the discs and... And then all of the ones that got cleaned also got tested. And that was on one disc cleaner, too. The second yeah. one wasn't even working. Yeah, I know. I got my second one refurbished. I have two now. So, I mean, we definitely put in some time. Um, but selling all these individually would just take a long time. And we're actually going to do them in lots of five, most of them in lots of five and whatnot. And be able to, some people like resellers will be able to get good deals. Some people that are collectors will be able to fill out their GameCube collection. There's a lot of reasons to come. There's a lot of hype around GameCube right now. You know, Caleb from Phoenix Resale has brought some attention and hype with his excellent series, The GameCube Gambit. Uh, check it out if somehow you haven't. Um, but obviously, it's just a great time for GameCube. Plus, GameCube is my all-time favorite system, so it's really special to me. And it's going to be a lot of fun selling, you know, my favorite system and being able to, you know, spread this collection around to the community that also cares about GameCube and have a fun time doing it. So I, I won't take any uh, more games from your collection. So yeah, we no, don't we don't have to worry about that. As a that minty fresh that, uh, that, that go go hyper grind is yes. calling. That's staying. That's call, staying. Calling my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't worry. That won't get slipped into a box. <laughs> good. Thank you. And we're gonna be giving away fifty games plus yeah. one of these uh, box systems. So that's exciting. We have a sealed system. We have the most rare. Uh, GameCube game. Yes. So what what makes this so rare? So I think we said in the main video there's yep. there's only five thousand made. Literally five thousand were printed. That is it. So and do you have any idea like how many like I think Justin was saying the cases for them are just notorious for being horrible. Yes, they are. So and uh, thankfully I do have a beautiful wow. one in my collection with a beautiful manual as well and a great disc. It, it's the hardest game to find. It is literally the hardest licensed game for GameCube to find. So even finding just the disc only is, is crazy rare. You got to go to a game barn that has, you know, 30, 40,000 games in order just to find one Sample disc. Sample size needs to be pretty extreme. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Years of acquiring games to find one in his case. And same for me. I've only found one for my collection. So we got a lot of cool stuff. It's going to be a ton of fun. And yeah, that's kind of why we're going to do it on Whatnot. We hope to see you guys there. Uh, I don't know if we have the information below to follow us, but definitely be there. Uh, again, our auction's average market price, and it's great. Like, it, it's, it's a fun time. So we're excited. We'll see you guys there. Can everybody say Bartle-do? Bartle-do! Jonah? Yeah. Okay.